Hello everybody, welcome to the Count Lucener. Or I assume that's what it is, not Lu Lucaner. Lu yeah. So, uh, I don't know jack shit about this game as per usual. Looks pretty cool, kind of reminded me of my big sister. So, which I had a blast playing that one, so I assume this one's going to be pretty fun too. Uh, before I start today's episode though, uh, just, just letting you guys know, my brother Cody and I ended up making a couple videos together. If you haven't seen those yet, you should go check them out. Here's a little example of, like, how stupid they were. Oh, hey, look, a big dick just protruded from the earth. <laughs> I, was gonna, on that I was gonna say, Dad? <laughs> Why would you think you're dad when I hear a big dick protruding oh. from the earth? I think of my dad coming back to oh, life. Come on, please don't. Grab someone's balls like a bag. Yeah. Back, back, Sam. Cody, you ever felt anyone's balls before? <laughs> no, oh my. Why? Based yeah, on what you course. said about the intro of this level, you. I think you have. <laughs> only my dad's. But... What? <laughs> Did you say only my dad's or not my dad's? <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't it be weird to say either? <laughs> Not my dad. <laughs> hey, 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 who's talking about your dad here? What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, by the way, viewers, it's not a joke. His dad really is dead. <laughs> so, I dead in bed, if you I, know what I'm saying. I hope he's subscribing up there in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> dead in bed, you know what I'm saying. Making, making his five-year-old do all the work. He's like, I never raped you. <laughs> But you yeah. can't sense it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I got some issues that need to be worked out apparently. But let, with that said, let's just go ahead and start right in on this game. So, I didn't go to the options. I don't. Okay, once upon a time, there lived a really poor boy called Hans. Oh, that's a boy? I thought that was a girl. Hans was downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. Don't we all? <clears throat> he wanted to explore faraway places, find treasures, and visit lavish castles. As his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to stay at home to help his mother. But today, Hans was really happy. It was his 10th birthday. Oh, I'm getting some Legend of Zelda vibes now. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what, do you know what day it is today? Of course I know, you're 10 years old today. Happy birthday. Yeah! Have you bought me any presents? Maybe a toy? Hans, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But mom, it's my birthday. Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, there's nothing special. Come on, help me set up the table. Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hans? I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse. I understand now why Dad isn't coming back. Why? <laughs> Jesus. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm just... I just turned 10. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I pay the bills now. I'm going out to pick up some cigarettes. Hans, please, no, your dad went to go pick up cigarettes, too. <laughs> I'm going in search of fortune, and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer. Even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, what a spoiled kid. Hans, wait, are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside, and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong. And I've been alone in the woods many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me do what I can to help you. I've got some things for you. 
I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa, and has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you in your journey. I got a cane. This is all the money we got left. Take it and spend it wisely. Three gold coins. Jeez, um, I feel so bad. Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your food slowly. It will last longer. Oh, and this is it. I can't give you anything else. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. Oh, this is brutal. This is depressing. This is already the best time to interact with things. I have to be next to them and use the cross buttons. Hello, dog. Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. I go on adventures just like Dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. Let's find his bone for him, I guess. Man, what even is this? Is there a run button? Alright, so there's that. I'm sorry, guys. Just gotta... Alright. I don't know. No run button? Is this really how fast I'm gonna run the whole time? That's Spittle's bone. Got a bone. Alright, Spittle, I got your bone, and I'm slowly walking on over. There you go, Spittle. That's your bone. Alright, I have to go now. Take care of Mom. Don't go away. Alright. Yeah, like a man now. <laughs> Running my own house. Alright. But what am I doing? I, now that I'm old, I can't play with the swing anymore. Ugh, oh, man, times are tough. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darned well anymore. Look at him. Such determination. I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. You've got three chestnuts. Ooh. It's empty. Okay, cool. This kid planned ahead. Ten years old and thinks that he's already old enough to go ahead and just be on his own. Well, maybe. Who knows? I mean, apparently he wasn't doing too well off with his mom anyway, so let's head and head on up here see what kind of crap we'll get into. The Count Loosener. I don't even want to know why they call him the Count Loosener. Maybe I should come over and try to interact with these guys. Guys, come on! Hey! Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a sign up here. Hangman's Woods. Alright, I guess we're going to Hangman's Woods. That sounds, uh, appealing. <clears throat> What's up, you old hag? What's this, a broken cane? Hello, young one. What are you doing here, here alone? <laughs> the woods can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm ten. <laughs> oh, well, I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then. What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money, but my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I don't... I need that support to walk, so I don't know what I will do when night falls. Won't you by chance something to help me keep going? Hmm. I could hand her the cane Mom gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. To give her the cane, I could, should take it from my backpack and... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get it. There you go, lady. Please use this cane here. You give the old lady the cane. Oh, thanks a lot. Your mother should be proud of such a good son. Alright. Let's get out of here, Smelly. Come on, you darn slacker. Move your ass! <laughs> 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 yeah, that reminds face exactly. Goodbye, son. I do hope we meet again really soon so I can return the favor. Okay. You guys have fun with that. I, on the other hand, have an adventure. A ten-year-old adventure. <laughs> Alright, that doesn't sound good. Hey, Bambi. Are you gonna talk to me? No? Okay. Just meant to be alone, then. There's a crow up there. Is the crow gonna run, too? I don't like ravens at all. Oh, it's raven. Mom said they bring bad luck. <clears throat> Fair enough. Maybe then I shouldn't be going this way. Maybe that's what it's trying to tell me. Ugh, I can't believe this is literally the... Walking speed. I say it now, and I'll probably end up finding something. Hey! Wow, he is hungry. You want some food? I got some food, but that's pretty much all I have. Hey, Miss Donkey, where do you come from? You look hungry. I don't think he'll have this. He might like fruit better. Okay, that's a good idea, actually. Leave it to me to be poisoning animals out in the wild. 
You know, I gotta say, this game doesn't have any, like, music to it while I'm walking around here, but just the footsteps and the nature sounds and stuff. Pretty nice. It's pretty relaxing. Like, if you're just casually playing this, the Cursed Gorge. Alright, I don't know where there'd be food. If it's up there or to the right, let's check up here. Alright, got him. Fuck. Oh, he was in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of fruits in here. Why don't you just come up here? Jeez. Alright, I got an apple. I don't know what I said about it, but I got one. I should collect another one just in case I need it. Alright. Alrighty. Got you some sweet, succulent apples. There you go, Miss Donkey. Eat this apple I've got here. Eat this apple I've got here. Alright, I guess you got two. I don't know if I should have given you both, but... Oh. I don't know if I could have used that. Oh, well. Onward with my adventure. We're friends now. Wait, can I, like, ride him or talk to him now? Is that how friendship works? I don't have any apples left. I'm sorry, Mr. Donkey. Well, I gave you two. Okay. That's more apples than what he's gotten me. That's all I'm saying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Who's... Who's this fucking guy? <laughs> oh, what will I become me? Looks like fucking Louis C.K. Ugh. Hey, are you all right? Help, please help. I've lost everything. All the wares I carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I've seen the donkey down the road. He'll be just scared. Or whatever. I don't know. My master will punch me anyways. He'll lash me 100 times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap him to the donkey and resume your journey. You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that won't help much unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon. He'll punish me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I could give him my money, but Mom told me not to waste it. Well, that's not a waste. It's probably a waste. I probably shouldn't do this. He's probably a bandit. Go fuck yourself, sir. Go fuck yourself. You got anything I can steal over here? Oh, I can push boxes. Oh, there's a goat in there. I feel bad. I feel bad. Look at, look at him. He's like... I don't know. He does kind of keep on looking around like he's, like, looking to try to steal. I can't tell. I want to do the right thing, but I don't know if it's the right thing or not. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here you go. I'll take two, thanks. He's stolen two. Uh, no, I want to give you one. Give me the other one back. All right, kid, don't play the rat here, will you? I'll make it up to you another time, buddy. Urgh. All right, well, he took two of my coins, but he said he'll make it up for me, so we'll see about that one. Uh, being an adult is hard. I'll help you, buddy. Don't worry about it. What's up, buddy? Where are you going? What are you doing with your life? I don't know. All right, enjoy your life. <clears throat> oh, there he is. is. that him? Does he lead me to something? Oh, hey, a note on the tree. Yes, I hear you. All those above 15 shall report to their nearest gen gender Mary. Yeah, once. Okay. Oh, hey. I brought back your baby boy. He's right out there to the left. Hey kiddo, what you doing uh, in the top of the mountain? I'm doing going in search of fortune. Blimey, that's a big idea. Tell me if you find anything interesting. Ah ah ah. Are you taking care of these goats? Me goats take care of themselves. Spend the day smoking and playing the flutes. But hey, ain't ye parents worried about you? I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Oh, that's bad. Why? Well, let's say they force you to go to war don't know anybody who chose to go, so it ain't a great place. Oh. Inji mom, ain't you looking for ya? I don't care, I'm angry with her, but at least she gave me some food for the journey. Ouch. Are you alright? You mentioned food and me belly ate, been all day with me goats and forgot to bring something to eat. Took tobacco and wine, but forgot the most important thing, aha. Uh -huh. I can't, I don't know what accent I'm going for. Irish, French, whatever. You want some cheese, sir? Uh, wine and cheese just goes together. I've got this cheese, you can have it. You yes, sure? Truth is, your cheese looks delicious, and me is starving. Wait, what do you think we share? We could have a nice meal with your cheese and me wine. All right. Yeah, I'm only, I'm 10, I can handle my wine. <laughs> I won't get totally shit-faced. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, 
This is gonna be bad. <laughs> there you go, Hans. Drink some more wine, man. <laughs> yes, uh, I think I can. <laughs> ah, ye porter boy. I have to take you back home, but first the final sip. Okay. That's me. <laughs> creeping up. Creeping on all y'all. <laughs> am I like hypnotized or am I just always this creepy? Oh. It's gotten big. Oh, I hope this isn't a metaphor for the guy that I was drinking wine with getting big. Oh, God! <laughs> Space. Save soul. What? Oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back, but it's so dark. I better take this candle with me. Nice. Load soul. Inventory options. Okay. Alright, so save soul. Alright, I don't know where I am. <clears throat> Shit's getting creepy all of a sudden. Hopefully I don't start a forest fire with this. Because <laughs> knowing me, where's the French guy? I'm assuming French, maybe. I think that's the reference with the cheese and wine. Ah... Uh, that's a lot of wine. He's getting a little out of hand with us. Hey, it's a duck. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to set that down. I want to pick it up. <laughs> if I stand still? Oh, if I stand still, I can just place it down. All right. This is the blood of all those who died at war. Oh. Uh... Mm. I'm hearing some breathing. What the fuck? Hey, goats. You guys having some sort of kumbaya circle over there? Don't you mind me. I'm just going to walk around. What's happening here? I don't know. Let's, let's not drop that, though. Hey, guys. We having some... Okay. Hey, buddy, you all right? You look pale. <laughs> you can never trust the goats, can you? Guess not. Well, this has to be a nightmare. Nah, let's just... Look, I saved you, buddy. I saved you. I'm just going to walk on home now. Oh, what does this note say now? Children named Hans will be hung from the highest tower of the village for skipping war. Oh, hey. Huh? Okay. No, don't push up on. What was that? Oh, it's just a <laughs> flower blowing up there. Hmm. Huh? What? Back here? Which one do I move? Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, Alright. Made it out of that one. Hey, buddy. You the guy I donated money to, maybe? That would be pretty cool. What does this sign say? The blue cobbled keeps a great treasure. Oh, that must be him. Because he's blue. He's the only thing blue I've seen around here. What's that noise I'm hearing? Oh, hey, dear. What's up, buddy? Even though it's completely still, I can see it breathing. Oh. Oh, it's a goat. And it's got an apple. But I can't get to it. Oh, wait. This is where I could go around. Can I still go around? I don't know if I should go for that apple, though. Uh, I don't think I can go around anyways. Maybe. No, I can't go around. Hey, right. you keep your secrets. Okay, buddy, right behind you. 
And there's a... Oh, it's not a raven anymore. That birdie seemed a lot cuter before the sunset. Oh, uh, maybe it was a bird that looked like that. I wasn't paying attention. Hello. Now we're going into this crack in the wall. Hey, buddy. Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome. Uh, hello. Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebra Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucener. I didn't know there was a Count living around here. My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you have come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master, Count Lucener, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not as had a son to take his place. Thus he has requested me to look for young noblemen who deserve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucener has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely. So my first thought was you had to... Uh, was you had to arrive with that purpose in mind. Of course, I'm a nobleman from a faraway kingdom. I have come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire, but before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. We would not want to vile noblemen. These are ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? <laughs> Therefore, you will have to tackle this simple trial. You will need to guess my name. What do you say? You will have the night to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucener. Oh, who the fuck is that? Guess my name. I'll have to look it up, but that's an old nursery rhyme that I haven't fucking heard in years. It's like Thumble Thimbleton or some shit. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. I wish you luck in the trial side. Now, if you allow me, I have to leave. Well, I know that they said something about blue something. What a blessing. If I guess his name, I'll be rich. How do I guess his name? Do I have to go inside the castle to guess his name? Hello. What's up, fuckers? Ah, uh, truly somebody worthy of being king. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be good. This is a sewer, but I'm not strong enough to remove the grate. Okay. Door is locked. Whoops, I mean that. This door is locked. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, I got three candles. Now I can place them around. There's nothing here. Whoops, I... I no, I want to pick it up. I want to pick them up. <laughs> there are four people laughing with a huge treasure next to them. The painting is named The Four Kings. Okay. That door is also locked. I'm noticing there's a pattern going on here. And that door is locked. Can I light this? Oh, I can light these. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Is there any other ones to light? And it doesn't even take up candles to light it. I wonder though if they last forever or if they burn out. The door is locked. <clears throat> All right, there's not many other options. One of these. There we go. So I gotta find out what his name is by the end of the night. Ooh, who's this dapper person? A portrait of a girl. She's my age, and it's odd because her face looks really familiar. His name written, it reads Lucrezia. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's scary. That shriek came straight from the depths of the castle. Okay. I don't know so much about this. That door is locked too. Alright. Can 
got all these fireplaces lit, though, so we're doing pretty well on that. That door's locked. Alright, so maybe it was one of the first two doors that I never went to. Maybe this one? No. Maybe now I gotta... Now that I activated that portrait, something's gonna happen. Yeah, because... Doors aren't open. <clears throat> so maybe now I just gotta go down to the depths of the castle. Depths of the old castle. This summer. <laughs> In the future, there will be over 500 doors. Oh, sweet! And none of them will open. <laughs> and they'll all be locked. No! Oh, hey! Well, this is a beautiful spot, and there's a treasure chest over here. Must be mine. It won't open. The lock has three-digit combination. Well, don't know what that would be. What's up, Raven? Zowie, the fountain is full of coins. If I were you, I wouldn't reach for those coins. I have seen the Raven kill seven-foot-tall warriors just by pecking. <laughs> Truth be told, the Raven looks pissed. Yeah... Leave gold, save soul. Oh, it's save spot. Oh, so like uh, Resident Evil, how you get the ink ribbons. What? He's asking you for a coin, boy. If you throw a gold coin into the fountain, he'll save your soul. Save my soul, but what from? Death. <laughs> okay. Well, do you got any gold? Because I could use some. Hey, young one, what are you doing here? I'm after the Count's fortune. Hey, you won't happen to know that blue co kobold's name, will you? Ha ha ha, I just came here to sell my wares to those unfortunate souls who dare enter the rooms of the castle. What do you mean? Find it out by uh find it out by yourself. Since we've already met, I can give you this key. I got the blue key. I think I've never seen a color key before. What is it for? Oh you I'm assuming for the blue banners next to the doors. Yeah, haven't you noticed the banners by the doors? Ah, uh, it's like uh Doom and uh Duke Nukem. There are four colors. Blue, green, red, and gold. And you need the same color key to open those doors. Alright, now I got the blue key. I can start exploring. Thanks a lot. Wait, kiddo. Don't leave in such a rush. Don't you want to see my wares? They might be useful to you. But I don't got any money. You took all my money. Alright, what do you sell? The first one is this golden key. You can use it to enter room upstairs. The key will cost you ten gold, which I don't have. The second item is a sealed uh, envelope with one of the blue... Cobalt's name letters. The letter will cost you five gold, which I don't have. And last but not least, I've got some corn. A handful of corn will cost you three gold coins. Also, as you helped me when we met by the rocks, I want to give you the envelope with the letter. So now we're even. Yay! I got the letter L. Thanks a lot. Alright, so I know L is part of it. I got that for free for helping him. Ah, oh, so it was a good idea to help him. Alright. I'm going to toss him my one gold coin, I guess. Alright. What? Roman numerals, let's see. Oh, is that telling me where I should go when? So top right is the second. But I'm not seeing a third. Or a first. Interesting. Alright, take my coin. Hey, Miss Raven, there you go, a gold coin. Please save my soul. Save soul. Alright, completely out of gold coin. I haven't noticed anything strange, but I guess this worked. Whatever this is. Alright. So that's all the time I'm gonna have for this episode. This game is already, like, really interesting, really weird. I can't wait to see where it's going. I don't think it's an extremely long game. So, we'll see how many episodes it takes up. But I'm definitely gonna be continuing this. So make sure you tune in next time to see that next episode. Also, don't forget to check out mine and Cody's episode. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Uh, of him and I just walking around in Castlevania bloodlines. And as always, I better see you there. Have a good one. Goodbye!